Okay guys, today we're going to finish the last double layout of uh, my scrapbook, at least the Anna Griffin Simply Wildflower Meadow Scrapbooking Kit. Um, these were pages 15, 16, we're doing 17, 18, and then the next video, either we're going to do just the front and just the back, or the front and the back. I don't know if I'm going to, you know, how the video is going to go. Um, but let's put these up. Um, I will link the kit if it's still available in the description box or possibly in the little um, shopping bag right here. That would be an affiliate link, which means I'll make a small commission if you were purchased items through those links. Guys, we are just rounding the corner. So let me pop these guys in. Again, I copied this from the um, inspo sheet there. I just went through. So it's a little bit still pretty flat because um, I know she had a lot more dimension like these other layers were up and I try to keep it pretty flat but still have all the same flowers and things that she had in the ex uh, example so I'm gonna pop this guy in here um, we still have I think almost one whole sheet of paper that I can cut into and do things with I was thinking we haven't done any mitered corners that's always fun like a frame so maybe we'll do that or maybe that we do that for the front and page I don't know. I'll think about it. And let me pop this guy in and then we will start pages 17 and 18. I have no idea what I'm doing with this. I haven't even given it a second of thought. <laughs> some of them I kind of have in my mind what I want to do today. Um, we're just going to look at, see what we have left and pull something together. And very easy to pop in here. They look really pretty guys. I mean, as you go through and see everything, oh my gosh, it is so lovely. It is getting thicker and I mean I'm only gonna add pictures so pictures I'm gonna add that much but I do want to show you how it's kind of opening up over here that's the so we still have four more pages we got to pop in here <laughs> um, another double layout at least for me I like double layouts and then the front and back okay let me put this okay. to the side so I still have a scrap here let's look at what we have right now <laughs> this is how I left things off um, I kind of put some things to the side knowing that's gonna be like my front page my back page or whatever it was so I have a couple of borders I'm trying to find the paper that is smaller than the others the one I cut into is this one right here so I can still cut into this and still use that so I'm gonna put it to the side I think I had chosen these for my front and back page or whatever what have you because those don't have paired up papers with them and so this is the last set that I have that's um, you know a double layout now I was thinking you know I can cut into other paper because I still have that but I might want to do something more spectacular with that like a frame and with mitering just so it looks different we can definitely cut into this and then flip the paper over so even from the one sheet just you know cut a three inch strip or four inch strip something cute you know maybe a square out of the center I don't know and then glue it back like the way I've been doing so we have a variation even though it's just one sheet of paper does that make sense so we might do that I have no idea what I'm doing today <laughs> I think the last few days is, has have been that way um, that's kind of why I was taking inspo from some of these images and stuff so yeah I mean this is all that I have left let's get this going okay a little scrap there Sorry, let me put this to the side. Really nice paper. This can definitely make you a mini album, front and back cover, side, all that kind of stuff. We still have our inspo, obviously, that we can check out. I mean, maybe I can still make something similar to some of these things. This has kind of a lot of ruffle that has a lot of dimension, and I am needing this to not be so dimensional <laughs> anymore. Um, I've been kind of sticking to not super dimension. Um, I do like something like this, and maybe that's something we can do for, like, the front cover or the back page again we have some layers of paper that I don't know that I'll have enough to do that with but that's why I'm holding off on that last um, big guy because that is a big square of paper now what you can do is gut this one and then pop it back on top kind of like we did in the um, kind of early on so I still have these guys let me see a pair of course a pair and four of this one I still have quite a few of the squares I mean I have four of the blue two of the white left and I only have two of the smaller white ones so I will think about that we have tons of journaling tags or cards um, lots of flowers of course uh, I still have this scrap of paper that basically it's the same as this one so maybe I'll use that somewhere else um, we have one set of borders two set of borders three sets of borders so I have two of each which would be really great actually for this page if I flip that over and have the blue and maybe some blue ruffle 
or not really a ruffle, but this guy. Um, lace, I suppose, maybe we can do that. And then I still have these beautiful things for like the front and back page, or maybe I double this up. I would really, now at this point, I kind of want to keep these <laughs> for the front and back just to help us out, make those prettier. And if I can, if I need to, I'll come back and add one of those if, you know, need be. Um, okay, obviously tons of these gold pieces. Let me think about what I want to do. I'm going to go look at my books. I don't want to just repeat a page because sometimes when you have something in your head and then you're like, oh, actually, I redid a page that looks just like that. <laughs> right? Um, so let me think about this. And I will be right back. So I think we can make something that's still a little bit different. Maybe, because I did use this paper on one of my projects, maybe... The floral part, even though I really love this and it's like one of my favorite designs, maybe we have the blue and then the flowers on the side. I think that'll be good. And I do like the three inch border. If you want to do four, make it thicker, you know, whatever it is. I mean, four inches is like this much. Maybe that's what we want to do. I don't know. I like the three inches border. I like the way that looks. So on each of these papers, I'm just going to cut three inches off the side and then we're going to flip it and have our border help us glue that together. So three inches, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. Just because this is what I like, I'll do the same thing with the other piece. Take three inches off the side, off the top, off the bottom, whatever orientation you want, and I'm gonna flip this guy and just have the floral on the edge over here. And the way I stick these together, again, I, I use the border to stick it together. If you want to use the, um, just another piece of paper on the back or just double-sided tape and just don't take the backing off or whatever. I do want this to be sturdy and stay forever, but on this side you can just glue a strip of paper here that holds it together. Now I do want to show you how pretty they both are. Like this one with the more florals or what I'm going to do today this way, right? So whatever it is that you like, but again I did use that paper and I haven't really used this blue side. So we'll have it like this. We have our little ruffle. I mean, it can go this way. I've been making them go in a lot. So, hey, why don't we try it this way, right? I think I've been sticking them so that they go this way most of the time. It's just that it comes in here and it makes it look more substantial. But we can go from here to here and maybe a little bit further in to give you a little more of that view. So let's do that. Um, you know, when I glue this down, what I'm looking at are these little dots. And so basically from this top piece and the first set of dots is going to be on this section, helping us hold it together. And then the next set of dots right here is going to be in the other section, holding that piece. <laughs> and I suppose you can put glue all over this, right? Um, just to kind of help you keep that together too. Maybe here. Just a little bit of something. So what I'm trying to say is this edge and the first set of dots is going to be over here. That's how I'm planning it. So right down the center, I can kind of see the paper through the holes. And so when I see the blue paper, I know that my holes are where it needs to be. From there to here. And that is about, um, what's it called? Straight. Right there. Okay, and you guys know generally I like to make my pages reverse images of each other. But let's grab our matte layers and let's, you know, for my front and my back page, I probably will use a square, just a focal image. That's kind of my preference. Um, I haven't, you know, we can use a lot of pink here maybe. Maybe one there that's pink. How about that? Two portraits. I haven't really done a lot of, I don't think I've done anything that looks like this. If I had more of these guys, we could fill that in. I don't have any more of this size. Um, so that'd be pretty just to break up all the blue. So I'm going to save another step for those. And at this point I have four of these guys, two of these guys left. And then of course these guys, um, blue and white also tons of them. And if I change my mind, you know, maybe the five by seven is my focal, um, image on the front page or however. So we have that. Um, generally what I would do is go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and stick this guy down and then just pop this one up with dimensionals 
and that is just my preference. If you want stickers to tuck behind, maybe only put glue like I'm doing right now towards the center. I don't know that I'm going to stick any images under, uh, images, the stickers underneath, but if you want to give yourself that option. Or go ahead and design everything out right. Go ahead and, <laughs> what I like to do, I don't know why, is I will do this and then I flesh it out with the stickers. But if you, I'm looking at the little dots here that's helping me align that. Um, or like me, excuse me, I'm getting distracted. But if you like to plan it out first, then plan everything, right? Uh, I'm gonna pop this up on dimensionals. And where did I put them? Here they are. And look how many dimensionals we got into. It kind of drives me nuts that I got these. <laughs> I like to keep them kind of in order here. Um, again, I like to make these kind of sturdy. And I will leave some not there because I want to be able to slide my picture in. And then I would also just kind of slide a little dimensional under there whenever I'm ready for that. So there. And I think here would be okay. Mm, not quite that okay let's put this one here and not put any here until I'm ready because I still need that area okay let me take the carriers off I'll be right back so <laughs> some kind of animal like chittering outside that's creepy what makes that sound is that a bird you guys probably don't hear it because my camera does a pretty good job of noise canceling <laughs> but I hear something outside it's like <laughs> weird okay um or a squirrel, but I don't know. I haven't seen a squirrel here in a long time. We do live near a park, so they do come around, especially when I had my little stone fruits, if they're developing. Oh my gosh, they'll come and steal the peaches and whatever else before they're even, like, close. <laughs> it's, like, so annoying. Um, okay. I have... I'm just going to grab this. Tons of these guys. Um, I haven't used my dragonflies at all, so maybe this is a good time to bring in a dragonfly, maybe like down here with the blue. Um, I don't have any kind of idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I like this to be very visible, so maybe we do, you know, this is so cute, but it's going to be kind of mixed in the background. Obviously, there's not, obviously, well, at this point, there aren't left and right to this, so if I use it on the other side, it's just going to be facing this way flat with the, there's no other way to use that one um oh this guy was kind of left out from another project that's cute i do like that guy i don't know if there's left and right of him either but i am just going to kind of mess around with some music and kind of see what we got you know um have lots of stuff here we have this little flower we like those guys i'm looking for the one that looks like that for the next side but I only have, do I have still one of these left? That is so funny. You guys remember in the last page we used a ton and I was like, ooh, it's getting close. But again, I mean, things get buried as you're looking at your flowers. You know, we're misplacing some. Um, see, I have this guy. It's exactly the same, but I would use it on the other side. He's going to be something like that if I used it, if I stick with it. Uh, that's cute. Just like a little bunch of those guys. Okay do like that. I love my hydrangeas. I was going to pause, but you know what? I think I'm close, because you guys know I don't put too, 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 too much. Ooh, we do have left and right of this guy, though. Maybe we can save that for, for something else. Um, it's nice to have a pair, you know? And right now, I'm looking for the other little mop head. There's got to be another one. I tell you, they get buried, and then I'm like, oh, here it is, or whatever, but... Hmm. Okay, let me dig through here and see. All right, so we have that for the next page. Um, another dragonfly, possibly for the next page. I don't know, but we'll see. That is very minimal, but again, we also have maybe our title and then our card, and maybe I put a card on both sides. I don't know. I haven't thought about that. Let's see. Happy travel. I haven't really used these in a minute. Magical love. Maybe love. And I'm just going to pop it down. Again, all these things you can pull out, out. I just kind of go for it. And thank you guys so much for your kind comments. I know I always said, you know, I get less views on these videos than like any other videos. <laughs> and, you know, people just may not be into scrapbooking. Um, that's where I began. And like I've mentioned many times, 12-inch scrapbooks just like this. And, um... 
And that's why for some people it drives them nuts to only put one picture. It's like we have this huge book. The point is to put lots of pictures. If that's what you want to do, do it. If you don't, don't, you know, whatever. Um, I'll put that right here. I'm trying to see. Um, but that's where I began. So for me, it's very natural. Um, what happened is I started with that because that was big in the 90s. And I mean, big for a long time, but whenever I was doing stuff in my sorority house, you know, and then when I had Diego and just going from there and... Um, then I started making smaller books, eight inch books. Okay, six inch books. Okay, make me make my own mini albums. All right, how about cards? Because <laughs> it's all kind of similar and still playing with paper, but your project is done so much faster. And so it's nice to make cards and that's kind of where I've been. Um, but I, you know, a little older now and I'm like, the kids love looking at their old scrapbooks, like the small amount that I did or whatever it was. And so it's really heartwarming, you know, um, it's nice. I don't know if I want to stick a flower there, Maybe at least not that one. Uh, but let me see. I don't have any other ones that are smaller right now that I think would look cute kind of tucked in there. Again, if I thought about that, actually, I could probably put that there and then move this. I told you guys, these they stick down, but not like completely. <laughs> so if I wanted to, I can probably pick this up very carefully. I think after a while, it'll probably be harder to do. Ah, and move it over after I centered it, right? I took my time to center it. Let's pick this guy up very carefully, very, very carefully. A little bit at a time. And I'll move it like in here. I still want this to kind of... Something's up with this. Yeah, that's what I thought. A lot of these are more delicate looking. It's just it was hard to tell. So that, and then maybe... Maybe something like that. Okay. All right. I like that. So with this one, it is a sticker. Um, they're all stickers. We know that now. <laughs> We've been knowing that. I cannot believe I'm almost done with this, you guys. And okay. I would put a little sticky guy back behind this to hold it up. And that's going to be okay because I'll be able to put my picture there still. And over here... I need to stick it down. A little glue. Okay, so that's supported. These guys are all stickers, and honestly, I can probably just use the backings. But I really like the way they look, and I don't want to bother it much. And you guys know whenever I don't want to bother it, I just try to get glue under there. So I'm just going to pop some glue down here, maybe put it on the actual piece. I'm just squeezing it, guys. These are all stickers. They could definitely just be stuck down. Remove the backs and stick them down. There we go. I will move this guy a little bit just so I can kind of get under here. Ah, just to secure everything. And like I said, this is, I mean, a sticker. Make sure you check on the back. Look, there's an extra piece of, you know what? Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and use it as a sticker to show you guys. <laughs> All right. And that is it for that. This guy, I guess we'll pop him up on a dimensional. He's kind of delicate, but um, people really shouldn't be messing with this too much, right? It's in the protector. I don't think it'll be okay once you slide it in there. You took care to slide it in so his little body doesn't get messed up. I think you'll be fine. Ah! Okay. Uh, let's see. I think that's it for today. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this, the opposite side, um, but putting a tag, right? So in here, I'll just put a tag instead of like that. So uh, let's go ahead and do that.
So on this one, as you saw, I just used them as stickers. So I just took the backs off because I had to place them anyway. So I did it all brand new. We have a ton of flowers. Like I said, once I have my images, we'll go and flush things out. We also need these for the front and back. And then I have these guys. So um, I still have plenty of these. There were a ton of each color. Um, we did already use pink and the white color. And we can bring in the green. Or we can do blue, just to have a little pop of blue again. That kind of fades away, though, doesn't it? I mean, it looks very sophisticated, actually. I like that. Um, hmm. Let's go for it. I'll do that guy. And with that one, I probably will just stick it down flat the way it is, because it looks cute. So what I'm going to do right now, just to have pictures for you guys, is put a little bit of double-sided... Not really double-sided tape, but just some washi... Pop that there and pop right here. So everything is the same on this page other than I don't have this little flower always faces that way. And I don't have one that faces opposite, but this one's very similar, right? It has this piece and honestly, I probably could have just cut this flower off. <gasps> I should have done that. Just remove this guy like at the stem. It would have been very similar. I mean, it's literally the same thing, right? Oh well, um, but I kept it, so that is the only thing that is different. If that bothers you, you know, you can do, like I said, do a little cutting, pick a different flower, <laughs> plan for that, you know, make sure you have a left and a right. Because other than that, everything else is exactly the same. This little one is just a little big cluster, a little bit bigger, and then of course the love compared to just having the journaling card over here. So that is our last double layout, double page, two page layout, whatever you like to call it. Um, Again, you know, later, I mean, I might even have flowers come down here or go up this way or whatever it is. But for right now, this is what it is. Um, I think we're, we're doing great. We still have plenty of stuff. Like I said, I still have a whole other, almost a whole other sheet to cut into. Um, other than my front and back page. We just, you know, maybe we got the center of one of these guys, uh, you know, in here and turn it around. So then it's different right it'll look different instead of just having a sheet like this it'll be more regal have a little something maybe a center oh i already have ideas okay <laughs> all right guys well that was fun i didn't even think about using the same paper instead of cutting into another one to get a side piece so hopefully that's another tip something else you can kind of keep in your um repertoire to use <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching i'll have images coming up i'll have the links in the description box possibly in the little shopping bag here if the shopping bag doesn't show up there's also right under the video there's the title you can do show more but there says shop you can click on shop and it'll show the different items youtube's always doing different things i never noticed that until now so <laughs> that's another way to find those things all right guys well i hope you're enjoying we're almost done and it makes me very sad but you know what i have the mini album still like the eight inch album the wildflower meadow collection i also have a whole other one of these guys and i'm thinking for the second one um i'm gonna start using my own dyes and things like that bring in other papers you know like the accent paper i did in here was like cream color just to keep it very basic but metallic papers obviously matte foil papers are gonna look really nice so um i will probably do that in the next one so thanks for watching guys i will see you all at the next one <laughs> bye now